Hey everyone, Dawn here from Tech Savvy Creative. I am so excited to be diving into the Spring Clean Your Tech Challenge with you. This five day challenge will walk you through step by step five different areas of your technology to help you clean it out, make it more organized, and most importantly, help that device run faster and smoother. Let's face it guys, we're entrepreneurs, we're small business owners. We don't have time for our technology to drag us down. Over the next five days, we're going to be doing this together and I'm going to be doing it alongside of you. So don't judge me for my messy computer, but just know that you are not alone in this. I'm going to be walking with you step-by-step step through each of these areas and showing you exactly how I organize things personally, but also where I need to improve as well. Keep in mind, there's no perfect solution here, so something that works for me might not work for you, but I hope you can find some guidance and some help in this process. So we're starting out this challenge with our desktops. I started with this because our desktops are something that we see every single day, multiple times a day. Oftentimes, a very messy desktop can instantly bring you stress, distractions, and feeling unorganized. That's why I love having a very clean, simple, and minimal desktop. Having a clean desktop has a number of benefits as well. Not only do you know where your files are, but it does tend to help your computer run faster. Also, it can be a really big bummer for a lot of backup systems because your desktop tends to not be a default setting for those backups. So if you're keeping a lot of very important files on your desktop, it might be time to find them a new home to make sure they're being backed up correctly. Okay friends, let's dive in and let's start cleaning up those desktops. All right, so here's my current situation on my desktop. Now, outside looking in, it's really not too bad. It's pretty good. I've had it much worse and I have seen way, way worse. However, I do wanna make sure to clean it up and clean off as much as possible. Now, it is, is a little deceiving here because I do have something called stacks turned on and that allows certain groupings of files to be grouped together. So you can see here like on PDF documents, if I click that, other documents open. Same with screenshots and images. Now, this was released in a later version of Mac OS X. Um, I believe it was Mojave that this came out on. So to turn this off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my desktop and uncheck use stacks. There we go. So now we can see what I'm working with here. Again, it's really not that terrible, but I do wanna clean it up. All right, so our first step to cleaning off our desktop is to assess our situation. What kind of files do you have on your desktop? What things can you get rid of? I want you to take a look at your files and really understand what you're dealing with. Next, I want you to purge whatever you can. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, once you have gotten rid of all of the files that you no longer need, go ahead and right click clean up by name, just to kind of refresh them and move them into a new place. Now, for all of the other files, go ahead and move them to their correct homes. Now, this does not necessarily mean go and create a whole new folder structure in your documents folder. If you know something needs to live in documents, drop it in documents. If you need something in Dropbox, drop it in Dropbox. Don't spend a ton of time putting away these files into their correct place because we're gonna be dealing with that on day five. Right now, our goal is just to get it in the right area and off of our desktop so we can get this done. All right, I am all set. My desktop is organized. All that's left on my desktop are removable drives. So my hard drives plus a memory card. And then two folders for the projects that I'm currently working on, including this one. So, but again, once those are done, I am gonna move them off just for the sake of being mid-project. I'm just gonna leave them right there for now. 
The last thing that we're going to do on day one of this challenge is to change your wallpaper to something that is minimal, clean, or something that really makes you smile. So maybe that's a picture of your family. Um, for me, I love pictures and I love pictures of my family. However, I do best when I have something that's not distracting. I love gradient wallpapers like the one I have here. However, this wallpaper is something extra special because it is a dynamic wallpaper. So every hour, it actually shifts its colors, which you might have noticed while I made this video that it did shift colors. All right, friends, how are we feeling? Feeling good? Feeling stressed? Know that this is a process. This is not something that is done quickly and instantly, and this can take a lot of thinking and deciding and purging, and all of those things can be very overwhelming. You also might fall on a very different spectrum than another friend or another coworker. You might have hundreds of files on your desktop where your friend only has two. Wherever you are, know that these small changes will make for big results. Don't give up, you've got this. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Tomorrow we are diving into our inbox for day two of the Spring Clean Your Tech Challenge. See you then.